Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can set up an Outlook email address or an Outlook email service on your hosting or site. So let's get right into it. I'll be covering Outlook 365 and Outlook 2019. So if you have any other questions regarding to the other methods or the other versions, make sure to check out this article on hosting or tutorials, which is very useful. And most of their articles are as you as useful as this one. This uh, one uh, within hosting or tutorials is community made. So make sure you check them out. If you have any other questions, pretty much all your questions can be answered through the articles on this site. So yeah, check them out. Uh, other than that, first, what you need to do before you actually set up Outlook, you need to have a domain name by purchasing it via, via a domain registry or a web hosting provider. provider. Uh, other than that, you need the IMAP POP and SMTP configuration details, which you can find on your hosting or account. And you also need an email account using the registered domain name. Now, once we have that and Whoops, my page crashed just a second. Once you have that, what you want to do is find the IMAP pop and SMTP. Uh, SMTP, yeah. Uh, you do that by going, uh, if you use the hosting or email, you do that by going to your account panel and clicking emails on the navigation menu. After that, click manage and next to your domain name and go to the configuration settings and look at manual configuration and you'll find them right, right here. Then just take note of them somewhere and that's pretty much it. To set up Outlook 365, what you want to do is log into your Microsoft account and click Apps, select Admin, then select Set up email with a custom domain and use a domain you already own. Then on the overview page, click a summary uh, of the custom domain configuration steps, click to continue to begin the setup, enter your domain name and click Continue. Then what you want to do is add several DNS records to authenticate your domain by going to HPanel and navigating to Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Uh, and then on manage DNS records, uh, set the record type to TXT, then enter the TXT record details, uh, which are the following, and click add record to add a TXT record. Uh, then once verified, enter your email address in the new email address field and click the update and sign out, then log back into your Microsoft account with the custom email address. And that is pretty much it for uh, Outlook 360. Add up brain lag for a second uh, for outlook 2019 you just go uh, and open outlook 2019 uh, once the pop-up window appears enter your custom email address then select advanced options and then let me set up my account manually then click connect to start the outlook email setup process uh, on the advanced setup choose either imap or pop uh, in this example imap will be chosen then enter the incoming email and outgoing mail fields uh, with the hosting or mail server details, then select SSL and TLS as the encryption method and the in, in the incoming mail section, then click next, then enter the password for your email and click connect, wait until the process finishes, and then click done and finalize the setup. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be seeing you guys next time.